Hey guys, welcome back. Let me just quickly uh, set up this whole thing and make sure everything's working. Uh, I see I have someone in. That fast, that was fast. So the first one. <laughs> Shut up. I need to kill the noise. Uh, reload. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm live actually because Oh, I am. All right. Hey, guys, welcome back. Hey, I have three, three of you here. Uh, can you hear me? Hey, Monsignor Neo. Hey, you might find this interesting, Monsignor Neo. I saw you somewhere else here. Hey, I saw, I saw you on Clive's channel. I saw the Clive's channel. Uh, I do watch, watch Clive. So yeah, uh, hopefully you can hear me, you can see me well. And uh, long story is, uh, a couple of days ago, or it was it yesterday, I don't know. Uh, I saw Archie's, uh, I saw Archie's celebrity watch review uh, with Austin Daniels and it was interesting because the celebrity part uh, lured me into click and I watched and he basically reviewed Austin Daniels collection uh, if you don't know Austin Daniels is a watch youtuber so you can check him out get him subscribe and all that good thing give him a thumbs up and whatnot and uh, watching that Archie mentioned in that video uh, you can send in your review to Archie, of course. Uh, he will charge you 20, 50 bucks, I don't know. But if you are a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber, watch YouTuber, uh, celebrity, uh, discount or whatnot, uh, maybe we can work something out so uh, he, uh, he can do it for free. And I was, I was thinking that would be fun and I decided to send uh, my collection to Arch for review and I wouldn't tell you what happened. Uh, so I didn't bother to, I had a couple of photos of the core of my collection. I didn't bother to send him all my watches for review. Uh, first of all, I don't want to uh, waste his time because he's going to just say they are shitters and whatnot. And I didn't want to bother with that, so I sent him core of my collection. And uh, I thought it would be pretty interesting. So I mentioned him, Austin Daniels, and things he said about that. And uh, uh, soon after, I got an email with instruction how to how to pay, how to pay. And I was I was like, you can pay via PayPal, you can pay donate on Patreon, whatnot. And I was like. Screw you, Archie, I'm not paying you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and but I was thinking it was an interesting idea. So I was, I'm definitely not gonna pay you. First, I don't, I don't need advice. Secondly, I don't want, I don't need advice to hear that you need man on the moon, you need reverse, so you need a Rolex is poor power or the Rolex or what? I think it's a waste of money, but yeah, uh, if you have a genuine genuine idea, um, genuine dilemma, what should you get then? I, I like Archie. Archie's a cool guy. He knows a lot about watches. So you can, if you have an extra, some extra money to spend and to donate to Archie, you can do it. I, I'm fine by me. But not me, son. I work, I work three years for that money. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this morning I got uh, I got an email from Archie. He, he sent he said basically okay, um, and he sent me the link to his watch collection. He sent me the link to his watch collection and said uh, I was thinking about some sort of collaboration. He doesn't need my 
uh, collaboration. I'm sure I have some subscribers who know about him, but they are unsubscribed. Someone mentioned the comments that they unsubscribed and uh, I will get to the comments later on. But I uh, know uh, oh he doesn't need my traffic, but I thought it would be tons of fun uh, to get to do that. So he sent me his uh, collection, April collection video and said, feel free to use that footage. Uh, so basically, uh, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna use uh, his footage. Well, I wanna do my part of the deal uh, anyways, even if he doesn't do a review, but I definitely uh, think uh, somewhere in the next year, because you know how he's working, even if you pay him 200 bucks, you, you cannot expect a video. Uh, you cannot expect uh, a video to just pop up next day. So anyways, I decided I'm gonna use his uh, video of his collection and uh, do basically like a Archibald's collection review or some sort of a reaction video to it. So I want to do uh, my part of the deal and I think it, it can be a little bit interesting even though uh, everyone who's following he, you know his collection so it's not gonna be something interesting and I think it's gonna be a lot of yelling Rolex and things like that but yeah uh, so I'm gonna do probably tonight or I don't know when I grab some time I'm gonna do uh, take this video I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna do uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do some sort of a reaction or whatnot so yeah but I do I do look forward to the uh, collection review and uh, recently I did a video asking you guys to send me your collection for review I did two collection reviews and uh, those are the two that I got the first and that's basically it uh, and uh, I did and I put myself in your shoes and it's kind of exciting so I can see where, you, where, you come, where you're coming from so if you want to send your collection for review uh, feel free to do it uh, all you need to donate is 100 bucks and I will get back to it. So yeah, uh, just kidding. You don't need to donate 100 bucks. So yeah, uh, let's see what's going on in the comments. I, I sent him my collection and I will do uh, everything else. So yeah. Monsignor Neo, good morning from USA. Yes, yes, I can hear you. See you. Thanks. Uh, you are a teacher. You can get a discount. Oh, uh, I am a teacher, but I'm, I do not work as a teacher this year. Uh, this year, I'm not working as a teacher. So, yeah. Uh, OMG, the pontiff, Mark Sotos Richard. Unsubscribed from him for some months ago because I felt he down spiraled too far yeah i told gone pear sheep i the problem with him i have is he yells too much you cannot watch his video in a bus on a plane or something without the headphones and even with the headphones it's freaking annoying to me to hear all the time rolex and every second word so yeah um but other than that it's okay uh pontiff is coming back uh, yeah, it will be fun to see what he says. Well, basically, that's why I did it. Uh, just to hear and to see and to put myself in your shoes. I was thinking about sell, uh, sending my collection for review to some other YouTubers. So if you have some, uh, you, you can recommend, uh, recommend me. And uh, I will put together a nice email and send him send them a collection. So, yeah. Uh, You have interesting things to say about. Uh, I don't like to think I'm that that interesting. Yeah, but uh, Bruce Lee never said for himself that he's dangerous and he knows shit. Uh, How is life, man? Oh, it's all right. It's not bad. I'm having this beer. It's a cheapo, but uh, it has a red red here cap. And if you collect 10 
caps you can get a uh, like Porsche convertible and, or something like that so yeah wish me luck I only I only need uh, nine more to go so I can participate to get this Porsche <laughs> Uh, do a collab with Austin also 55 gear is from MN I don't know what MN is uh, I I actually sold the watch to 55 gear and uh, I only need nine more to for Porsche uh, I did a I did a I sold a watch from Minnesota I, did, I sold the Oris vintage Oris to 55 gear a uh, long time ago. Well, I'm not sure how long time ago and I gave him a super nice discount because he's a fellow youtuber and whatnot and um, He got the watch I put then uh, another watch. I will tell you the story. Yeah, it's okay uh, So I found the vintage Oris and it was really nice had a faded bezel you can find it in my uploads uh, and uh, I was needing the money. I was always flipping and trading, trading my way up, and uh, I found a vintage Oris. It's really nice vintage Oris. Uh, it's like the Oris 65. And nowadays, it was the back from the 50s and 60s. And uh, I found it, and uh, I did a little video about it. And he saw it, and he asked me if you wanna wanna sell it. Uh, let me know. And DC Gunner, everything's for sale. Uh, I can do uh, it's my it's my game I'm a teacher but it's it's I do more things than I'm teaching and uh, yeah I said sure man why not and uh, I gave him a cracking deal I gave him a really nice deal and I sent the thing for free to him and I included a nice pocket watch in the package because I like the guy he's a five five here uh, we know we know each other back in the days we, uh, we are all small youtubers once and now we are big youtubers uh, and uh, yeah he got the watch he he said how you want to pay to me I said to him uh, I will send you the watch and everything and when you receive the package because I don't want to deal with the uh, uh, lost packages and everything uh, so uh, I will send you the watch and the package and when you receive it, you can pay me. And uh, after a week or so, uh, he got the watch. Uh, he paid me, and I gave him a cracking deal. You wouldn't believe. Uh, and uh, yeah. And the cool thing would be to do. Uh, he did a collection reviews. He was a bigger YouTuber than me. He is still now. But when he did the review for the watch, uh, it would be a cool thing to give a little shout out. Uh, to EDC Gunner or when he did the collections review and whatnot, so he never did that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not really sure I want to send a uh, collection for you to him. Anyways, I don't need my collection reviewed. I'm sure you do not. Uh, you just buy watches that you really enjoy. And, but I have to admit, it's, it's fun to send in your collection for review. Uh, it's lots of fun to do it, so yeah. Uh, about Austin Daniels, uh, I don't know, guy, I'm not really watching a lot of watch YouTube channels, uh, but um, I don't like his haircut. So yeah, let's see uh, what's here, what's in the comments. Uh, Archie yeah, Sisa Slenderman I will translate it to all you guys so Slenderman said in, in, in my language in Bosnian Archie is a tit <laughs> shame on you man uh, hey he won't be a tit if he does a review um, but we'll see I don't care uh, different parts of the world for different views on the watch collecting well yeah and we have different prices and uh, it's every, different prices different philosophies and everything else so yeah uh, it's, it's very different uh, my main 
Uh, man up and drink more. Yes, sir. I'm not too much of a beer drinker, but I do enjoy a nice beer when I'm thirsty after eating a good burek or a nice pizza. Uh, my main problem with the AC 308 was all the gossip and rancid hatred and the weirdness overall. I think a little bit of his outlandish persona is enjoyable when he stopped talking watches. Did you know that Archie did not invent the wristwatch check? He did not. Uh, and uh, a couple of days ago, TGV in one of his videos casually mentioned that he coined the term a wristwatch check. Wristwatch check, uh, I'm wearing my Samariner today. And uh, <laughs> he casually mentioned that he, like, I haven't co coined the term wristwatch check yet, but uh, when I got first got into watches, the forums were the main thing. You have Watch You Seek, Time Zone, and lots of other forums, local, uh, global, and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure on those forums uh, that wristwatch check term was long there before both of these guys even had a YouTube channels. I'm not sure about Archie, but definitely not a wristwatch check. Uh, so yeah, but I don't, I, what's up with that? Uh, who the fuck cares? I invented the wristwatch check. EDC Gunner invented the wristwatch check. So tell everyone who says it differently, troll them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Archie does it because he got weird a little bit, uh, but overall, I think besides all the cover and shade and facade of the nonsense, I think he's a good guy underneath it. At least that's what I want to think about everyone, and that's how I feel about everyone until they prove differently. Okay, I'm on his case to come back to watch us. But people pay him so much to do stupid variety act. Who cares, man? Uh, hey, Alex, how are you? Good to see you back. Hope you enjoy your Italy stay. Uh, hey, by the way, which team are you cheering for in Champions League now? Oh, Mark Soto says. Well, Ajax became favorite last night to everyone, but. Uh, Ajax became favorite one. I don't want Man Manchester got out, but I I hate Barca as well uh, because Barca. I don't like the fans. They all cunts. Uh, Manchester United fans or Barca fans. I don't know. I know I know them a lot. And they are all cunts. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, it would be cool, really cool, that uh, Ajax wins this with all the kids. Oh, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah. I was cheering for events because of CR7. Wanted one more time they were going to rename the league to Cristiano Ronaldo League. Oh, uh, I like, uh, I have a lot of mates who are cheering Juventus, but uh, they're a bit big headed. So, but I like Juventus and uh, a Bosnian national, Miralem Pjanic, plays for Juventus. He's the guy who can score a good free kick. Uh, he's actually, his relatives uh, are living very, very close uh, to my old home back in where my parents are. Uh, so yeah, you're practically neighbors. <laughs> uh, I explained with the three best players. Yeah, few was yeah, they're, they're cool, and some new kids on the block. So yeah, Messi. Okay, I'm gonna have to ban you, Christian. Arsenal, no better team than Arsenal. So yeah, uh, what's going on with you guys? Uh, if you have some suggestions, who who could I send a, a review? Uh, 
to send my collection for review uh, put down in the comment section and actually I'm gonna have to give you a little heads up uh, on Friday with my bearded mate he sold some watches uh, he sold some watches and uh, Bill Sanders watch our watch our side uh, okay okay uh, if they are not charging uh, I will send them so cheers uh, I will do it uh, yeah whatever Christian I would send the collection review over but I'm mean, currently consolidating whatever uh, yeah, on a Friday, my bearded mate, you know, that has the massive collection of watches. Oh, he sold some watches. Uh, he got rid of some watches. And on Friday, we are going to uh, get and make a deal for a freaking awesome watch. Uh, it's, I'm not going to say much. I might do a vlog type video because we are moving. To, uh, we are going to travel. Maybe I will do a vlog, but you don't seem to watch those videos too much, so uh, it takes a lot of effort uh, to make them. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's going to get probably uh, like 19%, 99% chances are that he's gonna get freaking awesome watch. And I'm not gonna say much, but it's a member of Holy Trinity. Yeah, it's not a Padek, it's not an AP. Hey, sure, uh, do you want to do a collection review for me, Explore One, Batman, or Premiere? Sure, send in. Uh, it's fun. I saw, uh, I w I'm doing this one because I felt how it's like to, uh, I wanted to see how it's like to send your collection for review. And actually, I'm looking forward to it. So you can send at edcgunnergmail.com. Make sure to donate 100 bucks first. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, you can you can like this video. So uh, I need some likes, shares, and subscribes, and all that stuff. And that's it. I don't need anything else. So yeah, uh, we are probably on Friday. We are going. Uh, no, 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 Monsignor Neil, do not PayPal me. I will do it for free. Just send some nice photos in the same mail. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to charge you for that. That's I do I do it for the fun. You can you know what you can do to help me out? You can like my video, uh, you can subscribe and you can uh, you can buy yourself something on Amazon through my link and I will get a little kickback. So that's it. EDC the third. I don't I don't do shit for free. I don't do shit for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, oh. I didn't know you were Greek. Are you in Greece now? We can roast a lamp together, definitely. Hey, king of the. Until they in until they, what you know what they say here in Bosnia. Until I try lion for me, the lamp is the king of the animals. <laughs> you know, they say lion is the king of all animals. Well, until I try it, uh, the lamp is for me. Minnesota. All right, you are expat. I wish I'm in America. Uh, do you like the Longines Le Legend Diver? thinking of getting the 36 mil model. Uh, the Longines Legend Diver, uh, that's the, the black one that, that looks so into, it's my favorite Longines, basically. Uh, it's beautiful. I don't know about 36 model, I don't even know if they had one, but I do like it, but buy it used, don't buy it new. You're just gonna lose a bunch of money, and when you buy it used, you can at least get your money back. All watches I ever bought. And I know lots of you guys telling and afraid what's gonna what the wife's gonna say about watches and whatnot and other things, but 
Uh, I, I try to buy watches smartly. Uh, buy watches used in good condition under the price and I will buy everything. I will buy everything. And uh, when I buy watches, I always know that I can get my money back on each and every watch I get. And most of the time I can make a little profit. So, yeah. They're gonna release it soon. Yeah, the problem would be that I buy a new one. Oh, you can buy the the normal one used, and you can wear that one. And don't 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 sweat the little things, thirty six or forty or whatever. Just get one, find a great deal, and get it. And later on, you will think, is this too big for me? Should I go thirty six? And by that time, you will get bored of it. But I love it. It's a beautiful watch. Mark says, normally watch enthusiasts always look forward to more expensive pieces. Now with your Submariner Reverso, do you have a Grail watch which is less expensive than what you have? Hmm. I would, um, I, but it's not a Grail. I do have watches that are less expensive than what I have, but uh, I wouldn't call them a Grail because one you, once you cross the line, I remember when I first bought my 300 bucks watch uh, and it was a lot of money for a watch then I bought it and I crossed the line and I was very comfortable buying watches in that price range same happened with the, I remember when I gave my first grand for a watch I was it was really uncomfortable but later on it became as a second nature but I do like to push myself to push the limits and stepping out of the comfort zone. So I do have watches that I would love to get back. I would get a Seamaster, uh, Omega Seamaster, the blue one. Uh, and uh, that's basically the watch I would uh, get uh, that first springs to my mind. Uh, there are some vintage watches I, I love, uh, but uh, Grail watches, somehow when you push that limit, when you reach that threshold, uh, it's only natural that you are looking to aspire and to do better and uh, I don't think it, There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I think it's very positive to you want to do better than you did yesterday And you want to do better tomorrow for yourself than you did uh, today because uh, You want to climb that ladder and uh, I think that's the only way to the success whatever you do in your life if it doesn't make sense to me if it's not gonna make me a better man or whatever uh, and nobody likes a smart ass but I'm just saying uh, and uh, naturally I'm looking at the watches that are a bit more expensive so or the same price range but I do like a Seamaster I miss it I'm saving for Pelagos LHD because of you I and why, why LHD? I see a lot of people who want uh, that lefty Pelagos. Uh, are you a lefty, all of you who are saving it, or you just like it because it's cool? I had a lefty Citizen Pro Master, and so it was so weird to set the date. You always have to take it off your wrist, and uh, I, uh, I had to tw twist it around to set the date. It's, <laughs> it, was, it was really... Uh, it has the red accents. Oh. Excuse me. Hold horology. I think you should get Neo the one that when you save up the amount, approximate amount of money, uh, get the one uh, because get the one that um, that fits your price better. And uh, the red accents. Um, it's okay if it's the same money, but I would not be uh, over the odds because of some red letters on it. And that ju it's just me, and maybe I'm stupid, but... Uh, Alex also loves the LHD, LFT Tutor. I love it because it's so cool. If you love it, then who am I to judge? I love Pelagos. Uh, I would I would buy Pelagos back. I have one expensive watch, Tudor Bike Bay Forty One, 
sold my Pelagos and bought a Seiko Samurai Paddy version. Love it just as much. The Seiko I can use are not worried about getting scratches. Last night I hit my subby against the door frame and it hurt a lot but I I screamed, look for scratches, no scratches, fine. Uh, don't sweat the small things. If it gets scratched, fuck it. What can you do? You can invent a cool story uh, how you got in a fight with a gang of robbers and you fought, fought them off or you, when you were riding your bike and you fought, fought them off, so yeah. <laughs> If it scratches, it's all right. And you Americans, you like to call it the character. I hate scratches on my watches, but um, once I get it, I call it character. Guys, seen are fantastic, Mark. I don't know how much they are going for these days since Invicta took over, but for around. Uh, 500 bucks, there's nothing wrong with them. There's a lot of micro brands out there. Uh, so if it floats your boat, it's okay. Uh, would you call them fantastic watches? Uh, they are not horology, they are not, uh, there are lots of vintage 500 bucks uh, watches that are fantastic, but that it looks good, it does, it does. I love it, so yeah. Uh, so guys, uh, write in the comment section uh, who should I send my collection review. And uh, I didn't want to send the Archie the entire, my co the entire collection, including Seikos and stuff like that. Uh, but to all these other guys, Bill Sanders, someone said Bill Sanders, I will send him a lot more watches. I have a samurai. I want the Neo Nemo turtle. <sighs> I think it's okay to have. Uh, I have a. I did a yesterday collection review, and the guy sent me. He has like twenty-ish uh, Seiko divers, and when I first started uh, getting into watches on forums what you wear in these days and uh, what you seek and local forums. Uh, I thought it's the best thing ever to have uh, 20 different dye watches from Seiko and all others, um, all other watches, but I would advise uh, only buy used and only buy underpriced and th that day when you decide you these watches are not for me you can sell them for the same money or the for the profit so yeah and uh, because inevitably uh one day you will decide i like the seamaster more and uh, i i need to get rid of some of my watches to get a seamaster so uh enjoy your one seiko or two seikos or three but um uh, I urge every one of you to think ahead, to look forward, uh, up in the sky, uh, to just just to aim higher. And I watch, uh, if you don't know who Elliot Hulls is, uh, he's a fitness YouTuber, he has a, you must have heard for him, but if you didn't, uh, go check him out. And he's the very smart guy, and he talks a lot about you should always, why every man should always become uh, the best version of yourself that you can be or something like that. Uh, check out Elliot House. Uh, I'm not gonna be a smart ass, but you always try to upgrade yourself to uh, be a better man. Uh, yeah. Seiko prices are crazy. I waited two years to get a Samurai Bull at a good price. Wow. Any Vostoks currently in the collection? And you wrote that on Celerix, that B on the Vostok, it's actually a V, v Vostok, like value. And it's in Celeric letter, 
and soloic V is like B, like B. Uh, I do not have Wasthaft, but I have Raketa. I have a Raketa. Uh, would be hilarious to see Archie's reaction to that, yeah. <laughs> I will try to do some reaction to this video, but uh, I'm not gonna promise a lot. I just wanna do my share, my end of the deal, so uh, nobody can sell me. Archie cannot whine about me. Uh, Austin sent Archie his Vostok in the review, yeah. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Uh, I I don't need a collection review. I just I, I just sent him the my backbone, the spine of my collection, and I w just want to see. Um, I don't need a collection review. I don't need Archie to tell me you should get a moon watch and this and this and that. But I just thought it would be fun, and I, I don't think it would be fun if he calls my Seiko shitters. That's not cool. Not cool. Even Watch Snob uh, loves and recommends Seiko. If you know who Watch Snob is, do. Uh, Watch Snob is from askman.com, has a calendar, and I got uh, lots of my info uh, about high end watches from him. Uh, so, yeah, guys, uh, that's all it. Uh, I think I should. Uh, I should go. Uh, I might do a live show uh, on Thursday. Is it today? Uh, yeah. Oh, Archie's a shooter as well himself. So, uh, later, guys. I need to get to work. Uh, yeah. Who cares what he calls that? Uh, nobody who matters care. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, uh, so write me in the comment section if you want to see a vlog of us going and trying to get um, a nice watch on Friday, so we are definitely going on a nice road trip, so uh, thank you guys.